Mike Jeez was here. Today we are going to VidCon. This is not my first VidCon. I've been to VidCon many, many years ago, and I am incredibly excited to be here as a creator. When I first went, I was a viewer, and it was very, very, very okay. But yesterday, I got the pleasure of walking around the expo hall, and it is three to four times larger than it was when I went six years ago. So I'm just so incredibly happy to see a convention just explode. I'm excited to see all the different creators and all the different booths. I'm excited to just ah, meet everybody. I am so stoked. I love, 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 love conventions. And I've always been a fan of YouTube. So Going to a YouTube convention is honestly um, pretty awesome. I'm so excited and I cannot wait to take you guys with me. truck that I can eat at. I'm vegan so I my options are kind of limited. There was a couple different options. There was one that was like a rice bowl and one I think they had a veggie burger but I ended up finding an Indian food truck so I'm having Indian food. I love Indian food. It's so delicious. I cannot wait to try this vegetable curry. Just finished eating my vegetable curry. It was so incredibly good. A mild amount of spice for a medium in my opinion though I was sweating when I was eating it but I think that's because I was eating it outside either way it was delicious so we are with Jess who is cosplaying as Zane and we're gonna go to the expo floor and see if anyone recognizes her Hi. Hi. so we're walking so far no one has recognized our Zane cosplay can anyone even hear me it looks so bad <laughs> Let's go this way. Okay. This is where things could get dicey. So now we're going through like Hall B. We gotta find someone. We gotta find somebody. But we're, we're staying away from the booth because that's where like people are obviously going to recognize you. So we're basically like VidCon goers. Oh my god, this is so cool. I've never been able to walk the, the floor. So we have to find someone that has like our merch on or something like that. Watch like someone pass me up here. <laughs> the first fans actually noticed her. Uh, we were walking and they're like, excuse me, can we take a picture? So these are the first people to notice Jess as Zane. Why? Why is Barbie here? Barbie has a booth. I didn't even know they still made Barbies. I'm gonna be real with you. I thought uh, Barbies died years ago. Best friend David! Best friend David. Best friend David, did you think that Barbies were still a thing? I'm gonna be real with you. When I was a kid, I played with Barbies. I played with Barbies too, man. Yeah. I would use like, you know those like Hot Wheels, like little towns? Those are my Barbie towns. <laughs> we would, like, they would like race cars. <laughs> So you had your own like Fast and Furious crew? Like actually, they no, were Barbies. they were Barbies. <laughs> We just finished walking the expo floor for about 20-ish minutes. Got recognized by, I don't know, 10 or so fans? Yeah. How was it? Uh, it was good. <laughs> okay, so we just walked up a flight of stairs because the guy at the escalator was like, no, 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 you can't come through here. I could come through there with a full access badge, but they wouldn't let Jess. It was a lady. A lady. They the wouldn't. Lady. The lady wouldn't do it. Bad lady. But yeah, so it was a lot of fun. It was really cool. One girl actually cried. It was just absolutely the sweetest thing what was it like uh, meeting fans one-on-one -on -one when you were it. like dressed up as Zane I loved it oh my god it was cool like to kind of like mingle among people because you don't get to really walk in common <laughs> so it was pretty cool without further ado I do want to introduce our panelists who some of you might already know uh, this is Jess Afmau give it up So 
I found my way to the Snapchat Creator Lounge. It is very, very cool, relaxing in this outdoor area in between the convention halls. I didn't know this place existed, and it is pretty cool. They have a ton of different amenities, so there's some food over there, some drinks, some beverages, and just like all these different lounge areas all spread out throughout this little terrace area that kind of invokes uh, creativity and conversation among each other, which is really, really cool. I am sitting by myself. Uh, I definitely feel a little out of place. Like I don't want to go up and approach anybody and say hi, because I don't feel like I'm on their level. I know that sounds so dumb to say, but uh, I am shy in that regard. That is something that I need to overcome is just like going up and saying, hey, I'm so-and-so, nice to meet you. I need to, I need to be better at that. If you guys have any tips for being better, introducing yourself to strangers, let me know. Outside of Dora and the lost city of Gold Tomb, and we're gonna go on a safari. Kind of. So they have all these real plants here, and I really want to see what it's all about. So let's go check it out. Is it true? Me. Okay. Okay. I see you. I see you. Oh, what's over here? Okay, I guess I've been a lot. Yeah, just kidding. Oh, it's literally just a line to sit in a swing and get your picture taken. So I'm good on that. Okay, so I was in the convention center, so I didn't get a little hungry, and I came across a vegan cupcake food truck outside. Let me show you this amazingness. So it's by My Cupcake Delight. And I got a cookies and cream cupcake. Look at this thing! It looks so good and it's vegan! I haven't had a cupcake in so long. Most of them I cannot eat because of the frosting. Sometimes the mix is good, but the frosting is where all the dairy is and the deliciousness. Day one of VidCon is kind of over, but not really. There's still some nighttime festivities, so I'm heading back to the hotel room so I can change. I'm currently in a weird romper. It's a weird romper. Like, this is weird. This is weird. It's a weird romper. So I'm in a weird romper, and all the buildings are like mega air conditioned, and I'm freezing. So while it is beautiful and nice outside, inside is like a frozen tundra. So I'm gonna change into jeans, and then head to the Hyatt, where there's a lot of creator uh, industry stuff going on. So there's a huge, huge YouTube party that's going on, but I'm not invited, so whatever. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Not really, but kind of sort of just kidding. I, I am not invited, but um, maybe next year. So that's a goal of mine is to be invited to the YouTube party next year. So there are other cocktail hour type dealios that's going on at the Hyatt. Day one of VidCon is officially over. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me tonight. I am going to continue vlogging the rest of VidCon and I will see you guys tomorrow. Good night, guys. Good morning, guys. I made it to VidCon day two. It is beautiful outside and I got myself some breakfast slash lunch. It's, was my watch is on the other hand. It's like 11, it's 11, it's fine, it's fine. I'm eating lunch, breakfast. And it's a tofu bowl with peanut sauce. Today, I want to check out some panels. I also want to hang out on the expo floor a little bit more. I didn't really get to hang out on the expo floor too much yesterday. And yeah, that's really all I have planned. There's a couple like uh, meet and mingle events going on at the Hyatt. So I might check out some of those. But overall, I'm just kind of wing it today and just have fun because that's what we're here to do. We're here to have fun. Okay, so I am at and look how cute it is oh my god we spent like eight hours building this thing on Wednesday and it turned out just so amazing and cute look at the little kitties oh my god I absolutely love it 
we, Moika and I actually. I was like, am I in the shot? You're like, am I in it? No. So Moika and I strung all these lights, and it was such a pain, but it it's really like, was. yeah, it was, but it was worth it. I just finished a panel in the industry sector where they talked about the YouTube algorithm and how there's actually multiple algorithms, not just one. So I think that's really interesting because most people just think of the one algorithm and trying to feed into it all your videos, but they were saying that there's like three or four different APIs that you have to get your video to like. I don't know, it's definitely really, really interesting to hear it from another side. Now I'm headed to another panel, so be my second panel of the day. It is Jess's panel. I think it's on the Twitter main stage in the expo hall. Twitch is having a cocktail hour. I am going to go. This will be my first cocktail hour. I will be attending. I am really excited and I'm not really sure what to expect because this is a YouTube convention, not a Twitch convention. So I'm interested if it's going to be YouTubers that are interested in Twitch or YouTubers that are also Twitch streamers. So I just left the Twitch cocktail hour. I met a bunch of really cool people and then reconnected with some cool people. Some really good conversation. We had tacos. I did not get any images or video of said tacos. You'll have to take my word for it that they were truly amazing. So now I'm back at the expo hall. We are going to an industry night, I think. Okay guys, I am finally leaving the expo hall. There was an industry night inside where a lot of featured creators and anyone with a full access badge could go in and hang out and see the expo floor because fun fact, if you are a featured creator, you actually are not allowed to walk the con. So this was an opportunity for anyone who is a featured creator or of higher publicity, I don't really know the word, but for them to walk around and see what VidCon is all about. I am super duper exhausted, so I will see you guys tomorrow for day three of VidCon. It is day three of VidCon. I'm heading to, well, you probably guessed it, the Indian truck that I've had like every single day because it's so freaking good. So I start my days off getting food at the food truck and then I head into the expo hall. I got to see a good chunk of the expo hall yesterday, so I think I wanna really focus on panels today and maybe exploring some of the lounges. So that's my goal today. I'm really excited because it's the last day of VidCon. Don't get me wrong, I'm super happy and grateful to be here, but I am exhausted. I definitely maybe sort of definitely did soak my feet in my hotel sink last night. <laughs> okay, so we're in the green room right now getting ready for Jess's meet and greet. It starts at 12.30. I'm really excited because i never actually been to a meet and greet before and I'm just gonna be hanging out on the sidelines, watching all the fans, just be so excited to meet Jess. So I'm really excited to be here. And yeah, the meet and greet starts right now. Everyone all lined up right here. 
is all here to see Jess. They're super excited. Her meet and greet was actually split into two because she likes to spend a little bit more time with their fans and talk to them instead of like, all right, you go, you go, you go. She likes to actually say hi, which I think is absolutely incredible. Not a lot of creators do that, and so that just warms my heart so much. I love seeing kids excited, and they're all super, super excited to be here. I just left Jess's meetup. It was super awesome to see everybody. Now I'm headed to a panel that discusses burnout and how to avoid it. Don't get me wrong, I think I have really good mental health and healthy practices to help avoid burnout, but if there are people speaking from experience and they know what works for them, maybe they can give you some more insight. This does not mean that I am even close to burning out, but it's always good to know these tips and tricks before it happens and recognizing the symptoms or signs of burnout, again, before it happens. Being proactive instead of reactive is very, very important to me. I hate you. <laughs> yeah, I'm half mouth. Hey guys, I'm just here. Yeah, but you literally had a mini heart attack. Drink the soda. <laughs> ah. I just finished the panel and it was interesting. Not stuff I didn't already know. The symptoms of burnout, all of that stuff. It really talked about having an outside hobby as a means to better prevent burnout, which I thought was really, really interesting. And I'm glad that I'm already applying that with hiking and rock climbing and yoga, even though I haven't gone rock climbing or done yoga since I've been in Seattle. But, but. As I was walking out, I was just sitting down for a little bit, and then Jess was like, oh my god, that's Boogie. And I was like, oh, I really want to get a photo with him. We did, and so I got a photo with Boogie, and I thought that that was so exciting because he was just walking in this area, which is for creators. It's not for featured creators. It's not for high-level YouTubers. It's just a regular creator area. And he just walked right up. People took photos with him. And there's a lounge over there. And so he's just hanging out, sitting in the lounge. And to be like an old school YouTuber, someone that everybody knows, to just sit down and like talk with fans in the community is just, that is my favorite thing. He's just so open about people just coming up to him and talking and as we were leaving I overheard him giving advice to some kid about meeting girls and I just thought that was the cutest thing. over. Thank you guys so, so, so much for hanging out with me this weekend. I had an absolute blast. I had no idea about all the special parties and behind the scene lounges that there was at VidCon. When I first went to VidCon six years ago, it was super small and just seeing how big this convention has gotten just makes me so incredibly happy. I love success stories and just Oh, gosh, I'm so I'm so excited. I cannot wait until next year. Thank you guys again for hanging out with me this weekend. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like me to continue doing vlog content while I'm at conventions if you're interested in what goes on. I'm going to be at PAX West and I'm gonna be at TwitchCon this year. So those are two conventions that you guys have an opportunity to meet me at if you are gonna be there. Please let me know in the comments down below. You can also reach me on social media. I'm out of breath because I'm walking. I don't walk, I don't exercise. Uh, but yeah, so you can reach me on social media. I have a Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. I'll put those links in the description down below. Until next time, bye guys.